and welcome back to the Reapers. So we are in our Focke Wolf 190. Today we're going to do taxi to the runway. We're going to do takeoff, a little bit of basic flying, and then we're going to do landing. So as you can see in the bottom left of the screen, we've got the control indicators. So you can see where the control stick is, where the rudder is, where the throttle is, and uh, I think it's got brakes. Yes, it does. It has brakes. Um, so that's that. So, so the first thing to point out is that we have a rear wheel brake lock. Uh, to access that, you need to pull the stick back, not all the way, but somewhat back, and that will lock the rear the, the rear wheels to allow us to fly in a straight line. And I wish the Spitfire had that because the Spitfire is a bloody nightmare. Um, so we're going to use that when taxiing, other than when we're turning sharply. Uh, to turn, uh, we're going to use the differential braking. That's right, isn't it, Charles? Yep. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, we can break, uh, we'll break left, we'll break right, and that's when to turn. Right, I've not done this before, so we're just going to give it a go. Do we have um, air, a propeller pitch on this aircraft, by the way? Or is it automatic? It takes care of it automatically, as well as the mixture and a couple other things like that. Wow, I like Cap likes this aircraft already. Okay, right, you taxi. One thing that is recommended yes. before we taxi, by the way, is that you open up your, up your radiator flaps. Yeah. Um, just to make sure you don't overheat on the ground. Sweet, that's the one that I can't get to, so, um, yeah. That's why I told you to bind it. <laughs> I've, can you look at my aircraft and check they're open? I've pressed open. Oh, yeah, right, I see. So, um, I can open the radiator flaps like so, and you can see them expanding and close them like so. Okay, that's good. Right, so I leave them open on the ground, Charles. Yes. Right, that's something I'm going to have to remember to do. Okay, they are now open, um, and I can check my temperatures are good. Coolant temperature good, oil temperature good. Right, would you like to take off, uh, take it to the taxi first, please? Take it to the runway, sorry. Sure. Right, so stick back, and power on. So much easier than a Spitfire style. It is. Wow, it's super easy. Still can't see anything, but that, that's normal. Yeah, I think I've read somewhere that they used to actually drive in S lines quite a lot just to see where they were going. Roger. So to steer, I'm using left and right wheel brake, uh, bind commands, and the throttle just to add a little bit of throttle, and I'm holding back stick, simple as that. And I'm wiggling left and right because I'm not very good at this, but essentially it works. It's still a hell of a lot easier than a Spitfire. Okay, I've got it, I've mastered it now, I have to pull the stick a bit further back. Okay, Shaw, keep an eye out for me because I can't see you at the moment, just be aware. Yep, I'm on the right side of the runway. Joy. Ooh, a little bit of a skid there. That's okay. Let's not worry about that. I'm going to have to move up a bit. Charles, how does my alignment look there? Pretty good. Okay, that is a little bit harder than I was hoping it was going to be in the end. Both wheel brakes on. Right, we got there in the end. Okay, Charles, do you want to come and line up with me? Um, what do we want to do with our trim? Do you want to keep it neutral? Yes. Right, so let me check that I'm neutral. I am. I'm right in the centre. So, regards to takeoff technique, um, so in a Spitfire, I would put the throttle on, I would just worry about my rudder to begin with to make sure we're keeping uh, level, and then I would start pitching the nose forward to uh, so I can see the end of the runway, and then once I had a decent speed, I would um, then worry about taking off. Is it the same kind of thing in this? In principle, yes. Uh, you'll probably not have to worry about the actual takeoff shield just come off the runway. Um, you don't necessarily need to take the flaps if you're not too heavy. Roger. 
Uh, we will get off the runway at probably around about 170-ish kph. Roger, that's about 110 miles per hour, something like that. Um, so one thing to keep in mind, actually, when, we, when you're doing that, you want to start rolling while holding the stick back, so you don't just go left and right mm, uncontrollably. Yeah. Yep. But you will have to let go of that and probably push it slightly forward if you want a nice smooth takeoff. Otherwise, you'll just forcibly pull off the runway and in instantly stall. So that's something to be careful. Roger ahead. that. So up to kind of um, about a hundred clicks, we think. Keep the stick back, roughly. Yeah, or a bit above that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then neutralize the stick. What about power? How do we do? We feed in the power slowly, and how much power are we going to give it? Yeah, well, you want to give it all the power you have, but do feed it in slowly, like in, in any other proper aircraft. You don't just want to, you know, push the stick forward while in. Roger, right, stand by. Right, Charles, I'm going to go on external view. Uh, you take off first, and then I'll give it a blast. Uh, one last little quick check. Make sure that your flaps are correctly. Yeah, stand uh, by. That your ox oxygen is turned on. Flaps are 10 degrees. Oxygen is functioning. Yep. Also, while you're on the ground, the ADI can drift somewhat, so if that has happened, just yes. cage it and unkey. Okay, stand by. Fixed. Ready for you to go. Right. So stick back. And slowly feed in the power on the ADI. Turn the or you want to keep that center. Ugly. Okay, were you steering with rudder there? Not enough. Right, okay, I'm gonna give that a go, Charles. So I'm stick back to lock the tail wheel. I'm power on. Unlocking the tail wheel. Neutral stick. Power on. Oh my god. Whoa. I'm up. It's pretty ugly, but I made it. Okay, I want to go gear up, Stoll. Stand by. And flaps up as well. Hang on. Can't get the flap open. Is iron, is iron up? Yes. Right, okay, I managed that. So I'll unpause it and um, I want to get with you and just have a little fly with you and we'll just have a talk about speed, max dive speed, stuff like that basically, yeah? Right, stand by. Right, turn the sound down a bit, still definitely loud. I'm going to trim out, I'm going to look for my star. Where are you, star? I'm just turning in towards the end of the runway, so I'm at your, what's that, 8 o'clock? Roger. Now I'm up. Do I want to um, close my uh, radiator uh, flaps? Uh, depending on, on your oil and coolant temperature, but yeah, probably for now you can yeah, they're pretty close good. Them. Okay, I'm closing my flaps. Generally, in general flight, would I keep them closed? Uh, depends on your speed. If you're just cruising slowly, it's not going to matter much. If you really need a lot of speed, then definitely. Okay, I'm going to keep them open a bit, actually. Right, stand by as I go and find my shawl. Okay, the first thing I noticed, shawl, although we've only got pit trim, um, it doesn't roll harshly to the left and right. It doesn't pull left and right like the Spitfire does. So it's much nicer to drive in that respect. Yeah, it's probably the easiest. Um, well, next to, this, next to the Mustang. I don't fight a Mustang, but it's a very easy aircraft to find information with as far as pops are concerned. Roger. I can check my flaps are up by that marker there. I can check my gear are up by that marker that would have been there. I quite like this plane so far. Take That's it. arguably the best plane in the game right now as far as props are concerned. I'll try. Just don't try and turn with the spit. So what's um, what's my um, ethos then if I'm being chased? So in a spit if I'm being chased I want to just spin around in circles because it's got the best turn rate. If I'm in a P-51 I just want to dive because that's the only thing it can do. What does this want to do? Well, basically similar to the P-51, you boom and zoom, boom smashing zoom. attacks at high speed. 
It, does it have any problems with banging the throttle forward, or are you going to blow your engine up like with the P51? Uh, uh, not that I know if it has uh, pre-advanced automatic engine control that takes care of prop pitch, uh, what's it called, saturation and all that kind of shit for you. So. Good, I really like that. Okay, it lets me control on my, uh, concentrate on my flying. Right, uh, Stahl had a PC crash, so he was taking off again. And that gives us a chance to look at the low speed car flying characteristics of the plane, so let's go and get with him. It's going to be quite a heavy bird, I imagine. She is. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide her, so we're going to rudder left, bank right. That was a much nicer takeoff. That was much nicer takeoff. Well done, Shark. Right, get your foot down, Shark, because I'm about to shoot past you and I've got no way of slowing down. Um, actually, I'm. It's okay, I'm okay, actually. This is gonna, I'm going to merge nicely. Okay, let's just have a little bit of a flying round, basically. Let's see how she feels. So far, Cap's first impressions. I'm very impressed with her. Uh, she's a friendly bird to fly. She does a lot of the work for you, which is nice. I haven't found a way of breaking it yet, which I usually do. What are things are there to be wary of, Charles? What can you do wrong? Probably the easiest thing to do wrong is just get too slow, try to turn fight the wrong planes, and turn too hard. She will quite easily uh, stall and turn too hard. Roger. She's got quite a high wing loading. God, it's loud. It's the loudest plane. Okay, the next thing I'll point out is it doesn't have horrible torque roll that you get from a Spitfire, for instance, um, where the torque of the engine will roll the plane over. This, instead, is more like flying an F-15 or something with a jet engine. Very stable. It should provide very um, good formation flying uh, attributes. So yep. my, it's, my, it's my first time flying and I'm in perfectly on your wing, so that just shows how easy this thing is to fly. Quite amazing, actually. I couldn't do this in a Spitfire. Okay, so what about high speed? Anything to worry about high speed diving, etc.? Only at really high speeds. I mean, you can tear her apart, um, but you'll have to try really hard and fight from super hard to do Roger that. Okay, anything else before we start gearing up for the landing? Not that I could think of. Talk me through the landing before we go in. Alright, so for the landing we want to reduce our speed to about 300 kph before we deploy our gear. Our landing flaps sometime between 220 and 300. Um, and our approach speed is going to be about 220 to maybe 250. We will touch down at about 170 and when you do make sure to pull your stick back. Right, to lock the rear wheel. Exactly, so you're going to glide her in all the way and you're just going to try to keep her level as much as you can by pulling the stick further and further back so that the tail wheel should already be locked and you're going to be going all over the place on the number. Roger that. One, I noticed I'm looking at your rear table and it's actually inside the body. Does that do that automatically? It does when you track the, the gear, yeah. It will still stick out slightly so in case you do need to belly flop uh, it can still be used to skip. Right, very good. Okay, Charles, um, start working your way onto a, a nice, long, easy, relaxed final, please. And um, we'll go in. Yep, I'll reverse my turn to the right. I'm flying perfect form with you. Such a beautiful plane to fly. I couldn't do this with the years, two years worth of Spitfire. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to be a bit fumbly when it comes to um, putting the gear down, so just allow a little extra time for gearage. Get a chance, quick chance, do a little F2 view. Uh, can't see where for it. Oh, there. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to start coming with the gas. Roger. 
Ideally, if we can make sure we never go to zero gas, so 5% a minimum, that would be appreciated. Yeah. I need, I need my uh, wiggle room. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just amazed. It's generally the first time flying it, and it's just so easy. Okay, I'm gonna bring her around once in a circle because we're not going to be able to slow down for a long time if yeah, we okay. want to go uh, idle. Yeah, that's fine. Does she um, does she not like to shed speed? Uh, not on a straight line, no. Roger. That's one of the good things about these heavy planes. They have excellent energy retention. Roger. Okay, so what speed are we going to think about gear and flaps? Um, gear about 300, flaps also. We could probably deploy them to to um, take up flaps for now to use kind of as an air brake. Uh, so what are we going to put them down to? I'm sorry, I was looking down. Um, take off position center, the yellow one. Roger, take off position center. I'm struggling to go um, slow down enough. Is it safe for me to put full air brakes on to get some drag? Uh, if you just put it down to 10 degrees, it should be good enough for now. No drag. We're at around about 300 kph now, so we can deploy our gear as well. Gear coming down. Pulse. I'm just going to be yeah, messing around above you, so just uh, I am going to drop down on you, so just bear that in mind that. Roger down. Otherwise, I'm all good. Setting, getting the trim set. Trim is good. Getting close to the runway and about 3 kph, so full flaps. Full flaps, else. Okay, set for landing. Okay, and I'm slow her down at that. Aim for about 250 ish. Roger, I'm going to come for a sli slightly steeper approach from you, it's just how I like to fly my warbirds. Yeah, I'm coming in a bit flat right now, but it's fine. Uh, what do you want your touchdown? 170? Around the bar, yes. Roger. Have you got eyes Oops. on me? Yes, you're right in front of me. Roger. Cap cut. Little bit rough there, didn't really like that, so... Okay, cap is down and safe. I and enjoyed that side. very much. Very much enjoyed that. Look at that. Which one of us is going off the side? It's you, isn't it? Wow. How about that start? First time in a warbird, take off formation and landing. I'm that's a good omen for this aircraft. Very good. Right. He's an absolute new flight. Yeah, happy about that. I like when I find a new plane. I like anything to add style before we sign off on this. Uh, negative, I think it covers it. Right, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you found that useful, and we'll see you later.